Hello, let's talk about the new Evolve system from Bioclair. What we've done is we've really looked at the problems we've experienced in the past and we want options. And then we want those options to be very clear with the recipe. So let's start in the beginning. Let's take a look at a couple different cavity preparations and then how we use the new matrix height indicator that will in turn help us to choose the different heights of the matrices. And then we'll take a look at the three different colors or indicators for emergence profile for the three posterior matrices. So once we've finished the cavity preparation, blasted, or ready for injection molding, we want to go ahead and drop the matrix height indicator into the cavity preparation. I'm going to look from an oblique angle, and you're going to want to take a look at the marginal ridge of the neighboring tooth or the um, shoulders or cusps of the tooth that we're going to be restoring. So in this particular case, when we look at the distal, we can see that it's about four millimeters. And this also overlaps with the go, no go coloration. So this is absolutely a go. It's in the green zone. We will not need to layer. So we can injection mold with one shot on the distal. What we're going to do to select the height of the matrix is once you've measured the cavity preparation, looked at your references, we obviously want the matrix to go by the edge of the prep by at least a millimeter or two to get a great seal. So in a young patient, it's going to be four plus one. So if the cavity is four millimeters deep, we'll add one millimeter and we'll pick a five millimeter matrix. But for the most of the patients in my practice that are adults, it's going to be four plus two equals six. So let's pretend that this is an adult patient. The cavity prep is four. We measured it at four. Now I'm going to grab a six millimeter matrix. Now my go-to matrix with the evolved matrices are the blue. They have a significant amount of curvature, which we want most of the time. I'm gonna grab one of the blue six millimeter matrices. And we'll go ahead and seat that in there. And it should be a nice fit. We're gonna go ahead and take the matrix and we will rotate this matrix into position, just like that. I'll drive this down and let's take a look from a side view and you say, that's a great matrix. You can see the extension going below the gum line. The contact is right where I want it to be. The marginal ridges are gonna line up. That's an excellent choice. And the blue evolve is what I'm going to be using probably about 90% of the time. Let's take a look at the other side of the arch and I've changed the teeth a little bit to simulate the one time when we don't wanna use the blue evolve. That's with root proximity or very wide flat teeth. So let's take a look over here. When you look at this side, I'll drop my um, matrix height indicator in here and it measures once again at about a four millimeter. If you look at the marginal ridge of the neighboring tooth, so four plus two, let's pretend it's an adult, four plus two would be six. But when I bring the blue Evolve in here, and I wouldn't do this clinically because I would have looked at the x-ray and say, no way is the blue going to have the right contour here. If I bring the blue in here and try and rotate this in, it's a very broad tooth, it's a very flat tooth, there's root proximity, and if you look at this, it's inverting. That's a disaster. So that is the wrong matrix. And this is only gonna happen about 10% of the time. But look at my root proximity. Can you see how close those roots are? So we make a decision based on the preoperative bite wing radiograph. We, we already knew this was going to happen. So in a case like this, instead of using the blue, we want a flatter emergence profile. All of the biochrome matrices are color-coded for emergence profile. So instead of using the aggressive blue, we're going to use a flatter orange or even flatter pink emergence profile, just like we do with the black triangle kit. So let's go ahead and grab a six millimeter orange evolve because we gauge the cavity at four millimeters. I'll bring the six in here and let's take a look how it fits in this shape. You know, it's really fun to have a recipe that works and is simple. I love doing class twos now. I used to not really like them that much. So let's take a look at this. We're gonna drive this matrix in and you can see that that is a much better choice. That's a much flatter matrix. It's not inverting. It's a little bit tight because this is a large molar, but that would do. The matrix is not inverting because this matrix is very flat. It has a very flat emergence profile, unlike the blue. And then, if you have a very large tooth, with which this one is, you could use the pink because this is the flattest of all the three emergence profiles and it is also a larger tooth. 
And so you have certain patients in your patient pool that have huge molars. And you also have patients that have root proximity or rotated teeth where you just don't want that much curvature. Now take a look at the pink. That, in this case, would be the best matrix of all. Now, I don't use these that often, but when you see a wide tooth like this, when you see a wide tooth like this, and it's flat, and you've got root proximity that you can see on the radiograph, that is a really ideal matrix for that situation. So those are our three choices. There's a matrix type indicator. Have fun.